YouTube, what's good? It's your boy 360GZ. And in this video, basically what I'm gonna be doing is a mohawk and uh, sort of like a burst fade or you know burst mohawk, whatever you wanna put it, that's what it's gonna be. Um, you know. <laughs> You too. What's up with you? <laughs> Why are you gonna bust me out like that? I was, <laughs> I was really finna correct it. <laughs> uh, you too. What's up with your boy 360 Jeezy? Today in this video, I lost all track. Memo just messed me up. Um, I did like a mohawk burst if you will, it's kind of like a, a burst mohawk, whatever, burst fade, whatever you want to call it, it's a mohawk with a burst on the side, all right? My client came all the way from San Jose. Shout out to the people that came through. It was at this moment he realized people that made this possible, people, people, really, really. Shout out to the people that came through. So what I meant to say was shout out to the parents, to the parents that made this possible to the parents okay it's the parents shout out to the parents and made this possible everybody if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button all right hit that bell button to be notified when i drop the videos if you want to see more of 360 jeezy all right but it's your boy 360 jeezy we're just gonna get into it because this was already a long intro so let's go Alright YouTube, I'm gonna start by picking the hair out and the reason why I'm picking the hair out is because I want to stretch everything to its maximum potential. I don't want to start cutting without, you know, everything being stretched out because you're, you know, what you're doing could become sloppy and you always want to stay neat when you're doing these haircuts. Now everything is stretched out, I'm gonna take my one and a half guard open using my wall cordless seniors and I'm gonna knock off all the bulk on the side, all right? So keep in mind that you wanna go straight up. You don't wanna dig into the mohawk, you just wanna, you know, get the shape right. So now that you cleared off all the bulk on the side, what you want to do is set your ball line. I'm using my Andy Slimline Pro LIs and I'm just going in a circular motion making a small circle. Using my wall cordless seniors with the lever open, I'm going up about an inch and I'm just using my corners um, as I go, making sure that everything is consistent all the way around. So with the one guard open, same technique, go up about an inch, uh, keep that inch um, consistent all the way around. Now with the one and a half guard open, I'm just clearing out that rest of the bulk, making sure everything is, you know, flowing well. Um, I'm going straight out. I'm kind of scooping in, scooping out. Um, and I'm gonna let um, the free hand take care of the rest. So you 
using my wall magic clips I'm going to uh, freehand the top just making sure the shape is you know what I want I want it to go straight up so that's what I'm doing bringing the clippers straight up as I go So you're going to notice some curls still locked in. So what you're going to do is just pick it out, um, pick it back out and reshape it. You don't want to leave the, the curls in there like that because you don't want your client to go home, pick it out and then it's all uneven again. So you want to make sure as you shape to continue to pick out uh, every time you shape it. So as you guys can see, I'm just reshaping it, knocking off the rest of the hair so it all could look neat. <laughs> Using the one guard close in a flick out motion, I'm just going to flick out basically softening up that middle line and uh, just softening it up so I can come behind it with the next guard. So with the half guard on midway, um, midway meaning the lever in the middle, I'm just gonna flick out that middle line by me using the one guard closed it was able to make it that much more easier using the half guard in the middle in a flick out motion so just make sure you guys soften things up and make make your work a lot easier so that's basically what i try to do is just to make your, your work as, as easy as, as possible So lastly, with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out the bottom line. Keep in mind that you're going to have to open and adjust your blade as you get up into that lever open area. So you can't always rely on the lever closed itself. Sometimes you're going to have to adjust your lever. So like I do with all my cuts, I take a, a step back look at it look at look away from the blend look at something else then come back to the blend and see what i can perfect and right here in that um, right corner as you guys can see i got my one guard closed and i'm attacking that area because i felt like it didn't really you know look it look totally in a circular motion so that's why i'm attacking that area right here i just wanted to give you guys a roundabout look on the before and after and look how much cleaner and neater things look when you actually get a haircut so you guys seen the left side so i'm just going to speed this side up all i did was use the same exact steps Right now I'm just gonna use my wall magic clips. Um, these are balding clippers by the way. These are custom by uh, B. Clark Customs on Instagram. He modified my, my clippers. But I'm just doing the shape uh, right now and just, you know, I like doing all my shaping and all, everything uh, last. And I'll give you guys a, a special tip, you know what I mean, how to uh, shape something, you know, and get it to look real, real crisp.
So the tip I was talking about is using hairspray to spray the uh, afro. You can use these on afros, anything that with long hair, uh, especially with coarse hair. You can use it, spray it, uh, blow dry it, and it, it'll become so stiff and the hair will not move when you go behind it with your balding clippers or even your liner sometimes. Sometimes the liners can help, you know, get you that crisp, crisp shape up that you need. YouTube this is what it looks like without the curl sponge but I am gonna curl it I just want to give you guys a visual on what it looks like without the curl sponge right now I'm using my nappy paste and I'm applying it in a circular motion and then I'm gonna do the curl sponge in that same circular motion just small circles that's how you do uh, the little curl sponge at the top like it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button to everybody out there that want to know where you can purchase these clippers that you've seen in this video make sure you check out the description box below 
You guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is Jeezy360 and my Instagram is 360Jeezy. But it's your boy 360Jeezy and I'm out of here. Cheers.